All right, guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Wait a minute, something doesn't look right. Where's my backpack? What are all these bikes doing in the background? <laughs> so yeah, as you can see, guys, we are on our first official bike packing trip. It's gonna be a fun adventure, stick around. We have, as always, Tim Watson. And we have another Tim, we're gonna call him Brown Tim, <laughs> because his name is Tim Brown. So that is going to be Brown Tim from now on. I came up with that nickname. Just yes, so Tim know. Watson came up with that nickname. And we have Kyle, the man behind the madness of all this bike packing stuff. So let's take a look at the bikes. This is Kyle's bike. He's getting all geared up here. He's got the Salsa Warbird. And uh, what packs you got? The Revelate? They're all Revelate designs. Revelate designs packs. So that's Kyle's bike. Here's my bike. You guys have already kind of seen this. It's the Rally Willard 3. And I'm using the Apadura pack in the back. And that is really the only pack I got. I got this uh, Sea to Summit bag rigged up on the front. And then there is uh, Brown Tim's bike. He's running a Cannondale, and uh, Tim Watson is running the uh, Salsa Journeyman, right? Yep, you got it. And what packs are you running? So the Revlate Designs Terrapin, and the Revlate Designs Sweet Roll, and the Revlate Designs Gas Tank. Sweet. <laughs> Check this out. We stopped at our first little attraction here at AP Recreation Land, and that is the bucket of a crane that they use to mine out here. Look at the size of that thing. That's crazy. Pretty impressive. We're about five miles in. Just got done climbing a pretty steep hill. I don't know if you can see behind me. The guys are back there chugging their way up. But uh, this AP land out here, it's pretty cool. It's tough. Riding a bike and even mild hills like this is tough, but it's uh, definitely a good time change of pace from backpacking but I like it feeling pretty good I'm starting to get tired <laughs> yeah I'm getting there I'm ready for camp the train out here is gnarly <laughs> pushing the bikes up a lot of the trail just gets too chunky to even try to ride up it what do you think Tim that was fun coming down but that was way steep coming up <laughs> even coming down here would be so sketchy this would this be, be tough. Yeah. There were some like massive rock cracks and rock ledges. <laughs> Not on this bike. What about a mountain bike? You can do it on a mountain bike. I don't know about going up. It just takes a fit person. Ooh. A fit person on the proper bike could climb that. All right. We are uh, 13 miles in. Stopped to fill up for some water. There's a good stream flowing back that way. So everybody's just uh, filling up. Um, Tim, Brown Tim, <laughs> he had a flat tire, probably a pinch flat, who knows, but uh, got that all fixed up for him. Kyle got him set, and uh, so we're just taking a little break, fueling up a little bit, and then we should bike on. Huh. Coming up on this, on the trail, and on the other side of this hill, that we got a pick our bikes up and climb over is a big pond so we got to figure out how we're gonna get across that so here we go we have to get across that brown Tim has already made it across he just beasted through it he walked so, over there oh, yeah, yeah he, he walked across the rest of us are trying to sit here and figure out how we can make it across 
<laughs> without getting wet. <laughs> Probably not going to happen. It's been a pretty long day. Woke up early this morning, left Finley, drove down here. About a three hour drive, a little over three hours. But uh, we did 32 miles today, averaged like 7.8 miles per hour, 7.6, something like that. And uh, 8.2, I don't know. <laughs> Kyle says 8.2. Oahu says 8.2. What, uh, what was the elevation, Kyle? 2044. So 2044 feet of elevation. And how much um, descent? 2600 or something, right? Yeah, a little more. So, yeah, and 2600 feet of hours, descent. 52 minute rolling time. And three hours and 52 minutes of rolling time. So, it's been a long day. Sun's going to be going down here fairly soon, but gonna get set up camp and uh, get some food and then we will be out for the night and then ride out in the morning. So here's camp and I am doing something completely new and different to me. I'm using uh, my UGQ tarp and I'm using the Perea Outdoors Mesh, mesh Bivy tarp. So. That's kind of what that looks like. It's not the greatest setup, but first time setting it up, I decided to use a bivy on bike packing to uh, cut down on the uh, bulk in my pack. So that's my setup and I'm using a um, X-Therm sleep pad. And today I'm using the um, Costco Cost, um, top quilt. So tired I can't even talk. And then uh, Tim, the other Tim, brown Tim here, <laughs> he is uh, like ultralight, ultralight. He's using a bivy with no pad, and that's it. <laughs> so there's really no setup for old Tim here. He just threw it down and... He's harder than all of us. Yeah. Right. Well, I got a whoopee. He's got a whoopee. <laughs> Keep me warm. Here's Kyle over here. Kyle's rocking the Z-Pax duplex tent. That thing's sweet. And then uh, here's Tim, like always, rocking the dream hammock with the uh, war bonnet mini fly X Therm, and I think he's using the mash drop top quilt today. Yep. So that's camp. Not a bad campsite for the night after a long day. It's uh, yellowfin tuna and extra virgin olive oil with tortillas. That's what's for dinner. All right, good morning, guys. It's the morning of uh, day two. We got approximately 10 miles to the, the car, I think. So or shouldn't four. or four. We're not we're not really sure where we're at, but it's not too far to the car. Um, should be back to the car at a decent time and then we'll stop and get some good food like we always do But uh pretty good night last night. We got to camp got set up got some food um, Had a fire last night only the second time. I've only had a fire Ever since I've been coming out. So having the fire was kind of nice. It did rain last night It rained uh, well, I don't know about three hours probably but it rained only rained about 20 30 minutes really hard but stayed really dry in the bivy um, my setup actually was pretty good I slept pretty good on the ground that's the first time that's ever happened so pretty happy about that not saying that I'm gonna convert to uh, sleeping on the ground all the time because you guys know I like to hang in the trees that's uh, how I like to roll but for the bike packing I do like the bivy setup so we're gonna get everything cleaned up here and then get some breakfast and we're going to be hitting the gravel. A little sore. Not bad, but definitely sore. Tim Watson, how are you feeling? I feel like singing like, hello darkness, my old friend. <laughs> no, I, feel, I feel pretty good. Surprisingly, like I feel like backpacking is a lot harder in your joints. And so, like a couple days backpacking, I'll feel it in my knees and like everything's a little sore. 
but I feel pretty good. Nice. I, I probably couldn't go like 30 miles like we did yesterday, but I feel pretty good. We did it once. <laughs> yeah. Tim Brown, how are you feeling? Oh, I'm feeling like it's ready to call it a day. <laughs> <laughs> Tim's carrying a backpack, so he got a little extra weight with him. Yeah. All right, just got back to the car. Day two is a wrap. This trip is a wrap. It's been fun. Our first uh, bike packing gravel trip. Um, it's tough. The biking is definitely tougher than than uh, hiking. I always say that anybody can hike. If you can walk, you can hike. But it takes some skill to ride the bike through this terrain. But it's extremely fun, and I can't wait to the next one. Thanks for watching, guys.